My name is Krishika Lulla. I'm a small producer in Eros International. I've done a uh, lot of films like Desi Boys, Chalo Dilli, Tanu Ez Banu Returns, Ranjana. Produced lots of good films, I feel. Many much. And I've done two Marathi films called Funthru and Anne Zara Hatke. And I have many more films I'm co-producing and producing. Shakti, uh, for me a woman is only a Shakti because um, it's a small thing if a woman can give birth to a life and take care of that life. I think uh, no man can ever do that. I think the Shakti starts from there. Like, you know, for me, Shakti means it's just woman. Uh, we all have faced a lot of obstacles and I think there's no one person has just paved the way and just come up. They all have uh, gone through a lot of Herculean tasks to be where they are today. It's Everybody has a different kind of journey. We all have to overcome it and it's how you how you uh, you know personally go ahead and do especially patient is very required courage patient and uh, being you know consistent in what you're mm -hmm. doing and uh, getting over your fears there's always so much fear like okay you know somewhere you have somebody pulling you down because uh, you know we are like soldiers i would see sometimes you feel you're like a soldier watching uh, walking in a battlefield uh, you never know who's your friend or who's your foe so but then you just have to be go on it's like a it's like a journey we all have to face you know we come across different kind of people in in this industry so we just know we should know our path and just go on it, keep working towards your dream and then I'm sure you'll be there. It used to be in those earlier days, but I think uh, there's now we can see our, our women are like pa with uh, men, whether they are technicians, whether they are editors, mm -hmm. whether they are directors, whether they are producers. You know, th no one thought a woman could uh, go through these intricacies of uh, film production in various kind of fields, but we are doing it right now, and uh, we're quite successful. You know, I'm sure. Like, I'm uh, in your field also as a woman. You also a woman now. You're doing very well, and I'm sure uh, all the you're as far as a man. So, I'm sure we all know about it. Like, it used to be those days where. We traditionally call a man's world. It's still a little bit, especially in India, but we are getting there. Women empowerment, we all have heard about, uh, whether it's um, especially about the rights. We all are still talking about the rights, uh, women empowerment rights, whether it's these more dowry to like all the social sides or the economic uh, sides we see we all want after all that a woman should get like rights as as much as a woman we still hear about the you know many such cases like you know even even for the education and lot more so women empowerment can go on like you know there's different versions to it if you think about it. Uh, why it happens only in India? I don't understand. This discrimination is still there and they are, especially when it's women, they are paid lesser than a man. I really don't know why. I'm asked, we don't know the reason still why. In India, it's still there. And you hear these fetuscides, uh, if it's, it's a girl child, it's sad. And why, if you give little education to a girl child, you never know where she will reach. She does. She just needs a little direction, like give them education. Girls know it. You know, you hear such things. We are living in this world. Go to the other side, and you see, you'll be like shocked. Ki, what's happening? In, it happens only in India.